Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and it's time once again to look at my stuff! What is going on guys? Hope you are all doing fantastic. So today's haul video is a mailbox haul video and it is long overdue. Uh, I'm afraid I, I'm just really bad about keeping up with this, but I've got a small pile of packages that were sent from viewers and I'm gonna go ahead and open those up today and check out the awesome stuff inside those boxes. So I'm not gonna waste any more time with your introductions here, why don't I just Dive right in and see what we got. All right, so this first envelope comes from Jeff. I believe Jeff, there we go, we got a note inside here. Note says, Dear Pixel Dan, this is, oh, okay, so I should point out there there was two parts. He actually sent me two envelopes. Um, they go together, so I'm gonna show you both pieces. But the note in this one says, this is the second half of the other picture I sent you in December. That shows you how behind I am. It's almost December again. This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, they're obviously meant to be displayed side by side. Hope you like it. And they get sent before PowerCon. Ah, it actually showed up a little after PowerCon, but also I'm late with this anyway. But check out these amazing pictures. So uh, his business card here, Project Pixel Art. So that's pretty cool. Looks like you can look him up under Project Pixel Art on Facebook and Instagram. Check out this sweet pixel art of He-Man and Skeletor. I love it. And see, it's meant to be displayed side by side. This is fantastic. Thank you so much, man. I love them. All right, we got, this is a pretty, pretty big heavy box here. Oh, this is, uh, oh, this is an international box too. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, so, whoa, this is, oh, okay. There's just a lot of blank paper here. I was like, this is a really long note. No, it's just one page. All right, so it says, Dan, I hope all is going well for you, Stina, and your little guy. I just wanted to send in some bootlegs, some vintage figures, and some Canadian cheesies. The O. Henry 425 bar is a promotional item that was released when marijuana was legalized in Canada. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, he, says, he says, I'm not a partaker myself, but I thought the bar tasted good, so I sent one your way. That's hilarious. Uh, there's no there's no marijuana in it or anything. It's just an O. Henry bar without chocolate and the peanuts are salted. That's really interesting. I love weird Canadian and like any international candies and, and junk food. I think that's so awesome. Um, he says, I've also sent along some bootlegs and vintage figures. Uh, the... The parody homers are originally from Mexico and they are glorious. Mexican bootlegs really are the best. I hope you enjoy the goodies here, including these barbarian style dwarves. I'm not sure if they're based on any license in particular. I just thought they were rad and I've included one in its original packaging for your enjoyment. Sincerely, Josiah. Holy cow. Okay, let's let's open this box and, and take a look at what we got. All right, so hey, here's the junk food first. Ooh. Cheesies? I've never, I've never tried cheese. Are they just like Cheetos? This is still sealed. So even though I've had this box for a while, I'm sure they're still fine. I'm, uh, I'm gonna open up some. Um, uh, <laughs> actually, this is looks like this month. That's <laughs> when the expiration date might have been. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up though. We're gonna try them out. Let's see what we got here. So they look like Cheetos, but they don't smell like Cheetos. They're way crunchier. Those are pretty good. Real cheddar cheese. Hmm. I like them. Ha! There's there's the uh, there's the O Henry 425 bar he was talking about. Limited edition. Crunchy peanuts wrapped around chewy caramel. So it's like it's like a payday. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, this is what he was talking about when he said bootleg homers. I had no idea what that meant. But look at this. <laughs> so it's like Homer Simpson as the Green Lantern and Homer Simpson as the Incredible Hulk. Wow, these are actually like super solid too. Like these feel good. These don't feel like a typical bootleg toy. That's, that's awesome. I just found another Homer. <laughs> He's Deadpool. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Man. I love me some Troll Force. It's so funny that I'm opening, 
It's so funny that I'm opening this right now. I love this. And I don't think I had this one specifically. This is awesome. He's even got the little bandolier thing. So these are basically, um, knockoff isn't technically the right word because these were like in regular store shelves. I guess, okay, knockoff is bootlegs, not the right word. So knockoff is, um, cause it definitely uses a masses of the universe style body, but then they got troll heads on them and they are totally bizarre. And I've actually got these sitting in a pile over here. Hang on, look, look. This is what one looks like carded. I might be working on something right now involving these. So this was, this was really good timing. Thank you. I love it. Oh, speaking of good timing, there's a stone protector and that goes right along with what I'm working on. I love it. Oh man, there's like a whole bunch of Z-Bots in here. Is this one a Z-Bot? This one I think is a trash bag bunch figure, but I think the rest of these little weirdos are Z-Bots. This one also is probably, okay, so it looks like I got two trash bag bunch figures. I think that's what these are. Pretty sure that's what those are. And then these are Z-Bots. This one specifically is one of the old Burger King Z-Bots, the white one here. Uh, man, I love these, I love these so much. Bong! Sweet little mini Undertaker! I'm a huge Undertaker fan! All time favorite wrestler right there. This is awesome. I did not have this little Undertaker in my Undertaker figure collection. I love him. Ooh, Kristar. I love Kristar. It's translucent, so that has something to do with why I love it so much, but this is such a great retro line. Very cool stuff. And this little dwarf right here is from the LJ in, uh, uh, this is the Dungeons and Dragons line, right? This is totally D Dungeons and Dragons. Am I thinking LJN? It's definitely a Dungeons and Dragons toy line though. Uh, Black Star from Black Star, sweet stuff. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. We got some some bootleg or knockoff wrestlers, totally in that 5.5 inch style. This guy's amazing because he's totally not Hulk Hogan. And then this guy, I don't know what's going on with this guy's face, but he's totally a champion because he's wearing a belt. Yeah, brother. Leg drop, yeah. Bootleg turtle. <laughs> hey, that's totally like uh, the, the 2003 era turtles, but totally bootlegged. It looks like he had one of those lights in his chest because for some reason, bootlegs always have like a red light that they can light up in their chest. Not always, but a lot of times. There's like a button on his back, but it's broken. Okay, the last thing in here are these amazing dwarves that he was talking about. Holy cow, these are so incredibly cool. It's like they're dwarves in that 5.5 scale. So they look like dwarves that would fit right in with your Masters of the Universe or your Remco's or any of those kind of figures. These are incredible. And he sent me a carded one too. Look at this. So the line just says, Dwarf Berserkers Regiment. <laughs> <laughs> summon dwarves. And then I guess his name is Master. I think this one's name is Master. Oh my God, these are incredible. I love these. Josiah, thank you so much for the amazing assortment of cool toys. All right, we got a third box here. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what we got. Uh, let's see, is there a note in this one? Aha, there's the notes. All right, let's see what we got here. Dear Dan, greetings from Pennsylvania. Last year, I found Pixel Dan while searching for unboxing videos. I've been watching ever since. For the record, I thoroughly enjoyed your Toy Fair 2019 coverage. Excellent interviews, reviews, and commentary. Well, thank you so much, man. At the moment, my finances won't allow me to become a Patreon supporter. Hey, that's totally cool. I, I really appreciate you looking into it though. That really does mean a lot to me. And hey, supporting me by just watching the videos, it's more than enough, man. I really appreciate it. He says, however, I am an eBay seller with unsold swag, hence the mystery box in your mail bin. Feel free to share, review, display, and or add them to your personal collection. Keep up the great work. Looking forward to future Super 7, Masters of the Universe, and TMNT figure reviews. Cowabunga dude, Dave. P.S. Box contents brand new except for the UK Hero Turtles book. However, the inside pages are clean, enjoy. Ooh, that sounds awesome. All right, let's see what all we got here. This, this sounds like a puzzle or something. I gotta get this, uh, I gotta get this trash bag thing off of it. Oh my gosh, it's so taped on here. <laughs> Haha! check it out. These are unopened 
laser tag puzzles. Oh my gosh, look at these things. Totally sealed, never opened. Look at the artwork on these. They're both from Golden, 200 piece puzzles. I love how this one's like just two kids playing laser tag, like wearing the actual stuff that you would buy to play laser tag. But this one's got like villain with some kind of weird looking Blanca henchman running around behind him. <laughs> these are amazing. Oh my gosh. It's a Bendy ET toy. These came packaged with Kraft Macaroni. I remember these. I remember getting one of these when these came out. This would have been early 2000s. That is so cool. You see him in there? Yeah, a little ET. This is uh this is bagged up and everything. But that is that is so cool, man. I haven't seen one of those in years. Ooh, hey, we got some trading card packs. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they are official Terminator 2 Judgment Day trading cards. Shall we open them? Will the destruction of Cyberdyne save the world? Come with me if you want to live. Collector's embroidered emblem. Hold on, this trading card is just a photograph of a collectible patch? Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, cool. It's a, uh, it's a, I'm gonna open them out of this plastic because I want to get a better look at them. It's a Batman button collection and it's still, still sealed up. Just a series of very cool, like old school, like early, early Batman stuff. And I love that artwork. That is so cool. Oh, awesome. Check this out. It's a Return of the Jedi coloring book. That's amazing. And then right underneath that, we've got that UK Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles special. Oh my gosh. I'm going to open this one up. I want to, I want to look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at that art. Oh my gosh. Oh, check this out. So this is like, there's like comic pages and stuff in here. Oh, this isn't like a coloring book. This is like, this is like one of those like activity books that has like information on the characters. Look at that shredder picture. Oh, I love it. Be seeing you dudes and du dudesses. I have never, I thought the proper dude term for chicks was dudettes. Dudesses, dudesses, dudesses. I don't, I don't know. Donnie knows better than me, I guess. This stuff is amazing. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I, I absolutely love it all. It's amazing. All right, this is the final box for the day. Let's go ahead and check out the note that's in here. It says, hi, Dan. First of all, I wanna say thank you for the years of content. It's very enjoyable to watch while I'm making my trash. Anyway, included in this box are a large, uh, large t-shirt printed by Master of the Galaxy on Instagram. So at Master of the Galaxy. Uh, Cosmic Warlords of Death Series 1 carded figures, Cosmic Warlords of Death Series 2 bagged figures, and a Blacklight Reactive Necronaut. They are apparently popular with the kids. Hope you're enjoying, get, hope you enjoy getting trashed. Here's the more content. Hope to hear back from you. Chris from Trash Toys. And uh, he is on Instagram at Totally Radical 2, what is this? Totally radical atomic subhumans at totally radical atomic subhumans oh my gosh i'm so excited to see this now he reached out to me and asked if he can send these to me and i know it's been a while uh since he's done this so i apologize that it has taken me so long but i am really excited to see see some of the awesome toys that you've created here oh okay cut here oh no cut here okay oh the tape peels okay Whew. See, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get my cutting tool before I started recording. Oh my gosh, what? Whoa, what is it? These are amazing. Oh, I'm gonna have to, okay, so this is what the box looks like. He's totally unassembled. Cosmic Warlords of Death, hand-painted resin figures. I gotta open this one out, I wanna check them out. Whoa, these little dudes are magnetic. Oh, the arms. Just pop right on. The head just popped right on. Whoa. And then he's got like this little battle axe. Holy cow, that is amazing. All right, I'm gonna open the rest of these and then get some close-up shots so that you guys can really check these out. 
Man, these little dudes are just so cool. They're they're totally like, I think they're cast off of Mega Constructs minifigures. They're definitely that same kind of scale and style. Uh, but you can see like there's some translucent ones like glow in the darky looking ones. And then we got the one hand painted one. Uh, but these are so fun. I love the little magnetic arms and heads and the cool weapons. Uh, really, really creative stuff. And uh, and then this is the, uh, the trash toy shirt. I got the t-shirt too to go right along with it. Chris, this stuff is amazing, man. Thank you so much for sending over some of your very cool, uh, very awesome, unique toys like this. I love uh, seeing the awesome things that people create like that. It's so incredible. And uh, I'm honored to have these in my collection, man. Thank you. So there you guys go. That's gonna wrap up this particular haul video. Uh, so many amazing, awesome, kind gifts. So thank you guys so much for doing that. It's not something you have to do. Uh, I really appreciate it. I am sorry that I take so long to get to it. Uh, please don't take that as me not caring because this really truly does mean a lot to me that you guys would go out of your way to send stuff to me. So thank you very, very much. And guys, thank you so much for joining me for this video. Stay tuned, I've got more haul video type stuff on the way. I've also got a new toy hunting video coming very soon and should also have a new episode of Toy Explosion that I kind of hinted at earlier. So lots of good stuff is coming to the channel. So hit that subscribe button. Until next time, my friends.